I'm going to be reading Dear Little Ones by Jade Miller. Dear Little Ones, I know things might be scary and confusing right now, but my name is Jade and I'm here to help. I want to help you understand what's happening, so I wrote this book for you. I'm friends with a lot of little ones, and I care about them very much. I care about you, too. If you have a special stuffed animal or baby doll or comfy blanket to hold while someone reads this to you, you can go get it if you want or ask someone to help you. Snuggle up and use your best listening ears. A long time ago, things happened in the outside world that may have been painful or scary or confusing. Sweet little one, none of these things were your fault. Other people made bad choices or may have made choices that made you feel scared or confused, but it had nothing to do with you. Sometimes when things happen that children don't understand, they think it's their fault. Sometimes children are even told that they are bad, or that bad things are their fault, but it's not true, not even a little bit. No matter what happened, no matter what anyone told you, it was not your fault. You are wonderful, you are beautiful, you are innocent, and you are valuable. You have amazing things inside you, like bravery, trust, and fun. And you are very, very smart. That is the real truth. You are worthy of being taken care of and loved in a safe and healthy way. People should have protected you and treasured you. I'm so sorry they didn't but it's not your fault. It's important for you to know that those bad things are not happening anymore. You are safe now. But because of these things that happened, other people needed it to be needed to be born on the inside in order to help the body stay safe. Some of these, some of those inside people are older now because they keep growing up. The body is also older now. Even if you feel little, your body is growing up. See how tall you are? One day when you are ready, you can grow up too if you want to, but you don't have to. You get to choose. Until then, see if you can get to know the other people on the inside. There may be some people your age on the inside that can be your friends. You may also find some other people on the inside who can help you and take care of you. They can be like a big brother or sister and keep you safe. They can help you understand things. Sometimes there are people on the inside who, can, who seem kind of scary. They might be angry, loud, or bossy. Even though they look scary, they are just trying to help. They are helping in the only ways that they know how. Try to be nice to them, even if they don't seem friendly. They are hurting and need to know that they are valuable, too. In time, as people are nice to them, they will feel better and learn other ways to help and how to be friends. Once you start to make friends on the inside, it's important to let the older ones have time in the outside world to find helpers 
who can show all of you how to work together like a team. This will make things less scary and confusing, but not all at once. It will take a long time and a lot of brave choices. When your big brothers or big sisters find a helper on the outside who is safe, ask them when you can have a turn to talk to the helper. You do not have to talk to them unless you want to. You can watch for a while and until you feel ready. You can choose what feels safe to you. Being able to make a choice is very important. You couldn't choose when scary things were happening in the past, but you can choose now. You have a voice. Whenever you are ready to talk to your outside helpers, try to tell them everything you're thinking and feeling. That way they can help you make choices that are best for you. If you feel scared or upset or confused and you need help, ask one of your inside friends to help you know what to say or how to talk about it. Sometimes drawing helps. If the feelings get too big, take a break. Do something that will help you remember that things are different now. Some people like to take walks so they can get fresh air. Some people like to turn on music or get a drink or yummy snack. Do whatever feels best for you until the feelings are not so big anymore. Keep trusting your big brothers and sisters on the inside and keep listening to your helper on the outside. Things won't always be so scary or confusing. One day things will be better. One day, when the time is right, you'll be ready to choose what you'd like to do. Some little ones choose to grow up. Some little ones choose to go to a very safe place on the inside and rest. Some little ones choose to stay little and take turns playing and exploring in the outside world. This is something you get to choose too. You can choose what feels the best to you. You always get to choose. You were never created to be hurt or scared or unloved. You were created for a life of joy and fun and love where you can dream big dreams and have grand adventures. Things may be hard for a little while. As you keep making friends and keep learning how to make good choices, you will feel better and better. If there are things you don't understand, let your big brothers and sisters on the inside help you. Everyone on the inside is very, very important. Everyone on the inside has valuable things to share. So keep listening to each other and working together. I wish all and only good things for you as you continue to take steps that will bring peace into a life of truth and joy and peace. I am with you in my heart and I am cheering for you. Love, Jade. I am blowing you a kiss. Dear Little Ones by Jade Miller and illustrated by Jermaine Zanon Zaninetti.